Hello and welcome to the Tech Learners. Uh, we are discussing simple data structure using Java. We had already seen that uh, we are discussing about three main data structures, linked list, stacks, and queues. We had already seen in the previous videos what is a linked list, how it is represented, and what are the types of the linked list. We had seen that the linked list is singly linked list, doubly linked list, and so on. We had started the discussion of singly linked list how it is represented and then we had started the operations on singly linked list. So till now in different videos we had seen how we can insert in singly linked list, how we can delete a node, how we perform search operation, traverse operation and concatenation operations. In today's lesson we will talk about the next operation that is splitting a linked list into two singly linked lists. So let's see first the concept how it is done. Let's say if we have a link list with few nodes and we want to split that link list into uh, more than uh, one link list, let's say into two link list in some ratio. So let's say this is an example link list where we have five nodes into this link list. Let's say if we want to dis, uh, split this into two parts, uh, one uh, P, let's say, P is equal to 3 that means you want to split these three nodes into one linked list and let's say we want to split this uh, and the second list should contain two nodes so this is a valid splitting because we have five nodes so 3 plus 2 is valid so uh, we'll uh, split this for that we'll start iterating here and we'll uh, see we'll start with P so we'll take P3 and we'll pick this first node from here and we'll add this node to our newly created list that is A. Now once we have added this, uh, we'll move our node from this current node and we'll move to the next node and then the next node will be added to the list A and we will add this till we have added three nodes into the list. So we have already added two nodes, so we need to add one more node into this uh, list and that's it so we have added three nodes first three nodes into the list uh, a and then from the fourth node we'll add nodes into the list number two that is here so we'll add from the fourth node till the end into the list number b so once we have added these uh, two nodes we can see that the original list is already split it into two separate link lists one with three nodes and other with two nodes. One more thing we need to do is in list number one, we need to delete this link and we need to convert this uh, link of the last node to the null node to indicate the end of this list. And yes, one more thing we have to take care that if user inputs, let's say three and three, so we need to check that this 3 plus 3 is 6 that is the exceeds that exceeds the number of uh, nodes into the original linked list in that case we'll simply display an error message that ratio exceeds the length of the linked list so now let's go and see how we can do this using the java program so let's i have created this class ssl split inside i have the inner class class node we have already seen this class is used to create a new node with two values the data and the link side so initially the new node will contains null as a link so this is the inner class that will create a new node for us we have created a head node initially we have already seen this function in the previous uh, singly linked list video lessons if you want to learn more you can go and uh, watch the video that is uh, basically for the introduction of the singly linked list and how we create add and delete nodes into the singly linked list then we have this uh, add function that will pick one uh, node from the original singly linked list and then will add into the new list so this is the add function that is accepting a data value and using the node class we are creating a new node with the same data value and we are making the next of the new node as the head node that will point and then we'll make this new node a head node we have already discussed this add node in the previous videos 
and now this is the split function we are actually talking about this in this video so in the split function we are passing two parameters both are integers that will give us the ratio remember p and q that indicates that we need to split the original singly linked list into two different sized linked lists so this is p h2 q this sum of this has to be equal to the length of the linked list if you remember here the length of the linked list is 5 so p is 3 and q is 2 that means we need to split this linked list with 5 length into two separate linked list one with length 3 and other with length 2 for example so now we'll pass these uh, parameters and then we'll initialize n as 0 this will uh, will be used to get the length of the current list now we have a node a temporary node we'll take the temporary node uh, which will be used to pick the node from here we'll keep it into a temporary node and that temporary node will be added into the list so we are using the temporary node just to hold nodes and then add into the list so that's why we have taken this temporary node and initially the temporary node we'll mark it as the head node we need to create two empty lists list one and list two so we have created two empty list list one and list two uh, where we need to split now what we need to do is we need to get the length n of the current list so in that case we'll run a loop when temporary is not equal to null we'll run the loop till temporary is not equal to null we'll keep adding into the length and we'll moving from temporary to temporary dot next so let's say this is the first node temporary so we'll count one then we'll make the next of the temporary as the temporary so we'll go on this second node we'll count two we'll uh, add into count so this is two now we'll go this is count three this is count four this is count five and the next one is null so we'll stop counting here in this way we'll take the length of the original link list so this is n is equal to n plus one and we'll traversing we'll keep traversing till we reach to the end of the length so n will hold the length of the link list now the condition we need to check whether p plus q if it is greater than n that means the ratio exceeds the actual length as we had already seen that this is the length is 5 and this cannot be 3 and 3 this is 6 so it cannot be 6 so it cannot be 6 so that's why we need to check the total length so we'll check whether p plus q if it is greater than n then we'll simply give the message to the user that the ratio exceeds the actual length because we cannot divide a linked list with five nodes into two separate linked lists with three and three nodes or three and four nodes so this is the condition we'll check it we'll give the message to the user and then we'll simply return the next is the right case where this p plus q is equal to n in that case we'll again take the uh, temporary as the head node so we need to start the iterations and we'll run a loop this is till p is greater than zero so we will run a loop in this and we'll start from here we'll take counter as p is equal to three then we'll move to the next uh, we'll reduce the counter now p will be two we'll move next we'll reduce the counter p will be zero so till p will be greater than zero we'll run the loop and we'll keep adding this into list one and once p is zero now we'll start with q so q is 2 so we'll begin with q is 2 and we'll add this into next list that is list b and from here we'll keep moving till q becomes 0 so this is the concept we are going to use here so we have started till p is equal to greater than 0 we'll add the data into the temp dot data and then we'll make the temp dot next as the temp and then we'll reduce the counter so in this way we are adding the node into list one and then we are referencing the next node as the current node so that we can add the next node in the list one this will continue till p is greater than zero that means all the nodes will be added to list one once p is zero that means we have added all the three nodes to list one now we'll start q so if q is greater than zero now we need to add the further nodes into list 2 
So now we'll add the next node into list two and we'll do this till we reach to the last node. So this queue will start from two. We'll add this into list number two. Then we'll reduce the queue. This will be one. We'll add this into the list and then we'll reduce the queue. That will be zero. So that means we have to stop here. So in this way, the first three nodes will be added to list one and the next two nodes will be added to list number two. Now we can simply print both the list using the print function. So we'll call the print function for list one and we'll call the print function for list two. We have already seen this print function. We need to traverse and then we need to print the data of each node and we'll move ahead. So we have already discussed this print node. If you are not aware about this print node, you can watch the video on the link list where we had discussed how to add, delete and print the nodes of a link list. So we are calling print node and to print those two link lists. Now the main function, in the main function, we have created a list. This is the original list. And then by using the add function, we have added some nodes into the list. We can also use the scanner class to accept the values from the user. Here I have supplied the users of my own. So we have a list with five nodes with some data values and then we can simply print. Now uh, we have taken two ratios P and Q. So P is two and Q is three. So now we'll uh, supply these two. We'll supply these two into the split function. So this P will hold uh, value two and Q will hold value three. So that means this original list will be subdivided into two parts, one with holding two nodes and the other list holding three nodes. So now let's compile and execute this and just to see uh, how it is working. So let's see the output of this split program. As we have already seen, the created list was with five nodes, 9, 21, 7, 11 and 5. And this is split it into two lists, 21 and 9. And the next list is 5, 11 and 7. So we can see that the original list is divided into two sub list split it into two sub list one with two nodes and the other with three nodes let's say let's check the next condition if uh, this is a uh, four so now we can see the ratio four plus three seven is greater than the length of the list what should happen we should get the message so let's compile and check this second condition also right created list and we have the message ratio exceeds the actual length. So now I hope so you have understood how we can perform the split operation onto the singly linked list. In the next lesson, we'll also uh, talk about some more operation based on the singly linked list. And in future, we'll talk about the other data structures also in the Java. We'll talk about stacks. We'll talk about queues also. So if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button and do not forget to share and comment in the comment box if you have any queries. Thank you so much.